Welcome back, friends. Knox again here once again. Here we are in part three, and uh, we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna take on some missions, and we're gonna uh, do a few things here and there. Um, basically, our first destination on this uh, on this video is gonna be uh, the, the big tree over there, and that's where uh, the lab um, is uh, located. It's at the base of it. And uh, we're going to meet a character that's going to help us, uh, you know, uh, progress and get us some real science points, which are, as you recall, in other videos, the RS up there, this is like close to the center right, 67, 70, that's how much uh, raw science I have. And with that, you can purchase uh, upgrades and whatnot. Um, so what we're going to do is head to the tree, like I said, and... Uh, uh, get a, a mission uh, or quest uh, added, I guess, to our uh, to our journal, and uh, they change every day. So um, be aware of that. Even when you save, it doesn't save like a normal game does, from what I've gathered. Like, me, what I mean by that is, like, say if you're playing, like, I don't know, Breath of the Wild on on Switch. And uh, you save in the middle of a field. Uh, you know, you got all your equipment, what you wanted, and you're just going to save. Cause you, or you wanted to go on before you go on to a mission. Or, a, like, say, battle a boss or a temple or whatnot. So you save. And you come back to it, say, a couple days later. Um, the environment doesn't change. It stayed where you're at. Everything's the same. Everything. There's not going to be no new character showing up that wasn't in front of you when you save. It's going to be the exact, the exact same thing that you're at. With this, and what I'm getting at with this is, um, when you save here, say like a week ago, um, I happened to go get a mission from, uh, from Burgle, who's the who's gonna give us our missions, and that's the robot, and we'll meet him in a second. Um, if you go one day and seek a mission, he'll have two. Like say, like uh, put a a field marker here, or um, discover or analyze this item. Well, say I go there and I do see those, and I'm like, okay, it was a mission, so I select one and keep it. Yeah, it'll be in my list of missions, but if I don't pick it, um, and I s and save, and if I don't, and if I leave the game and come back, say like a week later or even a couple days later, I'll go back and see the missions, and they're not going to be the same. So basically, you have to accept them and put them in your mission quest to uh, to uh, make sure that that's the one you're going to do. So here it is. I'm not sure what he's going to give me here, but here we go. And this is Burgo right here, as you can see. So let's let's chat with this cat and see what's Always up. Always happy to see a repeat customer. Okay, this is the lab. It's you can see that it suffered uh, some damage and explosion. You see that at the beginning of the game. Um, if you play the story mode, story mode is really not completely a uh, fool from what I've gathered. I mean, the, there seems to be an intro, but it doesn't seem to really go anywhere from there. I haven't really met any other characters or anything like that. Just recordings and whatnot. So as you can see, uh, uh, you ask questions what you should do now. and I already asked that the first time I played, so I don't think that's changed. And this is where you get uh, your your work from. But right now, let me show you what the what the raw science is if all about. There you go. You see, you get some upgrades there. And I have 6,700 and 70. And uh, you can see what we have here. Uh, this is a new thing, actually. It, it probably came with the updates, because I really don't recall the me the menu looking like this last time I went through it, or even this menu even being here. What I'm thinking is uh, I'll probably do a couple more missions before I buy anything. But if I do buy anything, if I were to buy it now with as much money as I have, I would probably get that canteen upgrade and some fiber bandage efficiency, just to you know like man up a little bit as you can see it gives you a little uh, description of what's going on here with 
on what these things do. So that's cool. You can buy new recipes, it looks like. Let's see, what is this? The upgrade outpost. Yeah, it seemed like right here where it says fortified bases. Um, seems like that's new, uh, new items. Not new items, but uh, new upgrades or whatever. Yeah, you use the use the left to scroll down here, left stick to scroll down there, and then the right stick to scroll down on this side. But anyway, I was uh, showing you that, and that's what you use your uh, science for. Um, the most expensive thing seems to be here is, the f is five grand. So pretty much I could get anything uh, up on this. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to exit out here and show you what the missions are all about here. Nice We're going to go and see what does he have any work for me. Each day. For each completed, raw science do I pay. And there you go. That's, uh, that's what pretty much happens. There's three different bold quests every day and from what I th what I thought when I first started playing was uh, every day you log in which is a different day so you log in one day that's the day you logged in so it should stay frozen in time but with the whole everyday thing with this it seems to be every day that passes in real life so let's see what it's gonna give us here okay explore birdbath bluff that is part of the new one of the new updates on one of the updates that uh, came, there's been like three since I played last. Two at the very least. I'm pretty sure it's three though. Uh, one was adding of the koi pond and a lot of uh, updates where they added new insects and new creatures. Um, some being bees and mosquitoes. And those mosquitoes are pretty, pretty deadly. The bees seem to mind their own business unless you go after them. And as you can see, I accepted a quest down there below where it says in progress. The Chip Sleuth, which is the Jungle Temple, which is massive, is one of the updates also. And it's just a maze of a bunch of different corridors and labs and whatnot. And, and not to mention you have to crawl across. Uh, you have to get onto a tree and climb through branches and avoid spiders and all kinds of things. It's, it's, quite, it's quite large. I started it and I got maybe a, well, about halfway through it. But I had to return because I had didn't have the materials to build a camp there or anything and you want to have materials with you when you go on missions and you don't know how long they're going to be and I went into this just kind of like with just some stuff I wouldn't say blindly but not very prepared and I couldn't camp out there I was pretty much just going to die of sleep deprivation so I had to run back all the way to my base and and uh, save from there. But at least the things that I collected, they stay saved. They stay good, as long as you save. Um, but you still have to make your way back and get to the spot where you were. And uh, it's a very large... Uh, it's the biggest quest that I had to go through so far in this game. And as you can, as you can see, it's still in progress. But uh, I'll eventually get to that. But what we're going to do, we're going to do a mission real fast so you can see what that's all about. As you can see, you accept it from Burgle here, and I'm going to accept... Uh, Explore mission, which is a quest, which is Bird Bath Bluff, and uh, we're gonna get onto that. So, um, if you notice, where it says Bird Bath Bluff is but one of many lost sites in the land, that's said on every mission, everything. I, the redundancy of that, you don't need to read that. It's always the same, always the same. Um, where it says behind by doomed explorers remain raised the bones, yeah, all that crap. So it'd be nice if they had something else. Um, looks like Burgle needs a little repair here, though, because he's got a spatula for a hand. I don't think they meant that, unless he was supposed to cook or something, but who knows. Anyway, I've been here long enough. So we're going to accept this, and uh, we're going to head out. Um, when I get out those doors, I'm going to open the map, and we can get an idea of where we're located. And uh, where we probably should head to where the birdbath is located. I definitely have an idea on where it's at, but I'm going to get on some high ground right now. That way I'm away from any spiders that might be lurking in the area. Looks like it's getting a little dark, so I might want to start the mission in the morning. Um, I Over there by God, over there by that juice box, um, I have my little fort. As you can see it there, it's really... See where my line of sight is, that dot? Well, you see where my dot is. It's to the left of it. There's a little green leaf there. And that's my other fort that I got saved. So I can sleep there. 
So with the mission I accepted, uh, what we want to do is uh, not just find it, but put down a marker. And a marker consists of you building it out of the... It's really basic, really simple. It doesn't take much to build. I'll go to the crafting so you can see what I'm talking about. And um, it's right here. The bumper, we'll go to craft. And what I'm going to do is go to my my utilities, which I believe it's under that. Yeah. Yeah, see the trail marker here? I'm going to need two sprigs and two plant fibers. I already have enough clover leaves, so that's good. The sprigs and the plant fibers are really easy to find. Um, you don't really need to carry those around unless you already have an idea of, like, say, I'm right now, if I had them, I'd go right to the trail marker and make it. But it's it's a little hoof that we got to do. We got to go quite a ways. Um, on the map, it looks like it's easy to find, but you can't take it from the direction that you would think you would take. You have to go around. And we're probably going to have to go... You might get a glimpse of the lab that's up there. Um, but we won't be going through that. We'll be going through the trees where it's located, though. So I'm going to pick up a couple sprigs and some plant fibers right now. Or what I could do is just wait till I get close, but might as well just get them now. And then once I construct it, I'll just plant it in the spot it needs to be. And that will be highlighted by like kind of like a ghost outline of of a plant marker. Trail marker, I mean. And that's where you'll put it. And see, here's my little fort. Um, my little cot or my little hut. I'm going to go get me something to drink, though, real fast. I think I'm prepared enough to be able to take on this mission because I, I got my canteen. I'm pretty much, uh, my equipment is in good shape. Um, the weak, uh, my one that's the most damaged is my chest plate, as you can see on the bottom left there. So, but I should be okay. I'm not going to be doing any fighting on the way there unless I necessarily totally have to. And just give you a glimpse of how the box looks. Pretty cool, huh? The different drinks uh, are around, are like um, cans, other fruit boxes, I mean fruit juice boxes. They have a couple different flavors. They have the Tropical Punch and they have uh, the Lemon Lime, I believe. There's Welp Soda over there. And the good thing about the Welp Soda cans, you can actually hide in those. And that's how I killed a couple spiders. I went inside there, got my bow and arrow ready, and I just basically set a little trap that allures, lures in the other insects, even the spiders. And I just took aim on the spider, and then, uh, of course, he got aggressive. But being inside that can, he couldn't get to me. So I just kept shooting, shooting away, and eventually I killed him. Took some of his body parts to build other items and tools. Um, let me see. When you sleep here, you have to wait till um, 20, 100, so that's that's 8 o'clock, I believe. And um, so, I mean, that's actually 10 o'clock. Um, so... No, that is, that is 8 o'clock, I'm sorry. Um, and you have to wait till then. So I'm going to do that and linger. It's almost that time. And uh, you can see you got a picture of the, uh, the moon there. And then you got the next door. It looks like, I guess that's a gas station. Let's look at the logo real fast. What is that? It looks like a pooch running. And there's the house. There's the neighbor. And then let's see if it's almost time for us to hit the sack here. Almost, almost. As you can see, you can also respawn your uh, your set respawn point. Mine's set at the at my main base, my main hub, where the that mysterious machine is. And um, you'll see, it, you can see it here. Right there, this is my this is where my home base is, which you probably already know that. I think I mentioned that. I showed them out quite a few times in that last video. And my spawning point's over here. Alright. It's night it's night mode. So once it hits night mode then you know it's just time to sleep. Well, if you're ready, if you want to. And I'm going to only one feeling tired. So, you know, of course you lose your uh, you lose some hunger, as you can see I drain there, and some uh and some of your thirst it goes goes down so you have to replenish no juice is falling out of this but I should be okay because I do have my canteen and I do have some mushrooms with me I'm gonna pick up some more I can hold up to eight 
Okay, so uh, Birdbath Bluff, from what I understand, is over here. I've seen it, but I haven't been able to get up here. Well, there's the Hedge Lab, too, also. But what I got to do is climb the tree from this angle, because it wraps all the way around like this. And I got to, like, climb up the tree and basically just follow the branches, dodging all kinds of, all kinds of goons and bad guys and obstacles and whatnot just to get there and when I get there I'm gonna have to plant that uh, that field marker and as you can see we're all the way up here so we're gonna have to get a move on all right so let's do it okay I think this way would be a better bet oh it looks like my shoes aren't equipped let me check those out real fast let me see if I got them with me um craft Where's my inventory right here? Yeah, my sh looks like they need to be repaired. Let me see if I can if I have the materials to repair them. Let's see if I can repair them here. Let me see. I should, oh, I should, wait, why do I have two there? Oh, no, no, okay, I see. Um, uh, let's see. Um, let's equip them. Yeah, they're damaged. Um, let me see if I can repair. Uh, let me see. Oh, I don't have any glue with me at that point. I guess I really don't really need these right now. I mean, it, it would help with my speed if I have to escape. But really what I want to do is just set up a marker. So we're going to give it a shot without them and probably repair them some other time. But again, let's look at that map, make sure I'm going in the right direction. No, I want to go left. But I'm going to cut through this area. I don't want to go. I, if I go left, it's going to be like a, a, sp a bunch of spiders that way and the fence um, that's going through. So there's only one way through there and spiders just lingering. Um, as you can see those bushes right under that window going around there like that that's the that's where you're gonna do I do the, that's where I'm gonna do all the climbing at that's where the, la the hedge lab is because it's a hedge I, s I said tree but it's not a tree it's it's more it's a hedge but it it's like it looks like a tree when you're in there so let's head on over oh, it looks like there's a threat so you can see there's a spiders over there, but that's not the threat. It's someone else. Oh gosh, I'm already, I'm already getting thirsty here. But it looks like there's a drop of water here, so I'm gonna drink that up real fast. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than yeah, nothing. My thirst went up very much. I mean, not very much, but went up a great deal there. So, oh, there's a little. These little mites, some gnats. Those gnats are pretty damn aggressive, and so are the. So are the mites. See, as you can see, he's still following me. They don't, uh... They don't know how to back off, basically. But they're pretty easy to kill. I like using the spear against them. Keeps them at bay, and you can also, like, uh... The damage is pretty decent. I don't like to use the axe as a weapon. I like to use it as my cutter, obviously. So I'm gonna pick up a... Ugh. Well, you want to defend with your left trigger, and you want to attack with your right trigger. See, and he backed up. So I just need two sprigs now. I got those two plant fibers right there. They're pretty much everywhere. Um, let's see where we're at here. Yeah, I'm a little far off. I got to come all the way down here. So I need to make a right. But going through that water is probably a bad idea. So what I'm going to do is go down to the right over there and just run along the side dry land. Because this area right here is water. And I w I'm probably going to come down this way and then just run down this way and come over here. Okay. Alright, it's this way. And here's a sprig. I'm going to pick this one up too. I need two of those. And another one. Okay. So we have the, the supplies to make the trail marker. Is that some sap? Yeah. Now that honeydew you can eat, so that's good. That's food right there too. But let me, speaking of food, let me eat some mushrooms here. Uh, food. Oh. It'll get me going. I, oh, there's a stupid gnat again. I, sh I need to cook the one of those fuckers up and eat some gnat meat. 
Oh god, that's a uh, that's one of those uh, stink bugs. Not stink bugs, but one of those. Okay, here we go. One of those uh, roaches. I don't know if you saw them real briefly, but I don't, I really don't want to give them the time of day. They're pretty tough, but uh, they're definitely you can beat them with your with your level one weapons. It's no big deal. So they're a threat, yes, but you can definitely manage to uh, fight them as long as you're crafty with it. You know, move. Don't just stand still, and don't just have the defense button up. It's, you're gonna need more than that. Okay, I see a web over there, so a spider's probably gonna be in this area. The kind of spiders that you have in this um, in this game are uh, your that I can recall are uh, your weaver ones. Uh, I don't know if they're called weavers, but they they remind me of those spiders that weave their uh, webs. And you have a wolf spider, which <laughs> you know is dead meat. I mean, those those things will bust you up. But there's the there's the bird bath. But there's no way up there unless you go through a branch. And I'm gonna have to go through that big old hedge from the right side and crawl up and find a way to get to this branch right there, and crawl up and leave the marker. Which is probably in this corner right here. I think it's in that corner right there, actually. Um, yeah. So we're going to head towards that bush. And I hope I have enough daylight to get there. Because I really don't want to have to go into the night doing this. Because it gets very spooky and dark in there. And uh, all kinds of... All kinds of visitors. Not visitors. All kinds of guys are waiting to get you. For invading their their area, uh, I'm gonna see if I can climb up there. I seriously doubt it, but I'm gonna try. Looks like there's a yeah, there's a spider that way. Maybe I can climb up here. Oh, it's possible. I think I can get up here. Yeah. All right. That's that's a that's a good sign. Cause I could probably get up that branch. And maybe head over there. Uh oh, probably a spider. Yeah, it sounds like one. Oh, there's a whole ass load of spiders here. I don't know if I can climb up there, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I seriously doubt it, though. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Let's try over that way. Oof. We got a gang of them over here. But uh, I've never been to this area. I've only been above it. Oh, he's he got aggressive there. He's stood up on his hind legs. Yeah, I might be able to climb that area, but... Oh, look. There's his little babies. Or her, her little babies, so no wonder. She's a little upset. Um, looks like I lost her. Yeah, this is looks a little too steep, um, which is very unfortunate because I'm in the general area on how to get there, but it's just just too steep for this little guy to get up there. So what we're gonna have to do is find another way up. We're gonna take this route over here, and uh, this is like I said, this was the hedge I was talking about. This is where the lab is, and of course there's remnants of it right there. I'm not sure what might have happened to make it collapse. Who knows? Maybe it got attacked. Maybe there was an explosion like there was in the first lab. Who knows? But uh, we got to find a way up there. Let's try this way. Nope. Everything is very... Steep and unattainable. And it seems like if I could get up there, I wouldn't be able to get to that that the rooftop of leaves there. So let's see where we are, and we're going to have to take the long way around. Yeah, I'm going to go straight ahead and head up the way that I know how to go up. But you know what? I would not be surprised if the area I first went into did have a little spot where you could probably get up there. <sighs> but, um... I have no idea where it is, so I could run around for days and not find it. And, and if there wasn't one, then it would have been just a clear waste of time when I would have lost all that daylight. 
let's see here. Okay, be careful when you check in your map mode. Make sure you check your map mode when you're like when you know or at least when you're pretty sure that you're away from anything hostile. Because that's not a pause. Oh look, there's some juice here. Hell yeah, that's that's perfect. So that's probably means a juice box up there in the trees, which there is, I remember that. Because you're still vulnerable to attack when uh when you're looking at your map. Like I said, that's not a pause. If you want to pause, hit the start button. Or if you're using the keyboard, you hit uh I believe escape and your map um, is M again I like to use uh, both keyboard and um, controller when moving around I want controller when accessing my menus and trying to get on stuff I mean trying to pick things quickly inventory whatever I like to use the keyboard instead of like you know moving my joystick left right to get to it so I'm going to have to uh, weave through here somehow and figure out which direction to go and I don't f I don't see it happening like right away. I'm probably going to take a lot of wrong turns before I get there. Right there I did clearly. I can't get up there so we want to go this way. And I, to get into the whole like the whole like guts of the of the hedge you want to go this way. So this is probably the way I definitely want to go, get to the far end of it. Um, see, as you can see, there's forks. That one goes off to nothing, so okay, at least I can see that. And we're going to head up here. We're going to encounter a lot of spiders, so... Got to be aware of that. And I got to make sure I don't fall off, because... You want to get this on your first trek through. It's okay to get lost, but you do not want to fall off. Because climbing back up here sucks. And what did I just say? Oh my god. I just cursed myself. Let's see if I can get... No, I can't get to there. Well, I have to do it again. Yeah. And I dropped because I was impatient. It's just so funny how, like, I said it and I fall off. And it's like the stupid game just read my mind. So that was an enormous waste of time. Um, it was up here, yeah. And the thing was, I was being careful, but no, it just said, oh, you want to talk about falling off? Well, we're going to fall off. And, uh, God, that, that is pretty absurd. Normally, I'd get really pissed off, but, eh, this game's already pissed me off earlier today anyway. The loading time was being very awful. I had no idea what was going on. I had to reset the computer, like, twice. Um, like I said, it is an early release game, and I remember in the first video, too, that I was... Talking about how I wasn't having many issues with crashing or whatnot. But uh, since they just added a new patch recently, um, I've been. It, it looks like I'm finally getting those annoying crashes that everyone's been talking about. It's, what's that? What was that noise? Probably another, another update. Um, we're going to head this way. As you can see over there with those bricks over there, that's pretty much where the bath is, but it's more to the right. So I think I'm kind of generally going in the right direction. I really hope I am. I remember this leaf getting me to that area. I'm hoping I don't have to do any zip lines, but I might have to. Unless it's over this way, but no, it's definitely not that way. So I don't think I have to do any zip lines. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway so y'all can see what that's all about. <laughs> oh, yeah. we are. And you can get a little 360 view here. Okay. And <laughs> right into a spider's lair. It's probably the little guys, the the little spiderlings. Yeah, they're yeah, they're dangerous of course, you know, cuz they're they're bad guys like everything else. It's survival of the fittest out here. And that's where they, you see it pulsating. It's not pulsating, but that's where they're at. And you can get some materials from that, of course. Like webbings. Um, let me look on the map and see where I'm at. So I want to get up here somewhere. I think this is where the barbath is. This is water, so that makes sense that it would be there. Um, but it looks like... 
this isn't the way to go as far as like that. I don't want to fall too far and end up being lost and not coming and basically not making any progress and having to come back all the way around because I have no idea how to get up here unless it was the way where I started. Oh yeah, okay, I remember. This takes me to the lab in another zip line, but I don't know if it's going to take me to where I really want to go. I don't want to go to the labs, but this seems that's where I'm heading. And I want to avoid that because that's just going to get me running through the bases and stuff. This is where I found some files and stuff and some plans. So there's nothing left in there unless they added something, of course. Okay, it might be this way. Because up to the right is where the labs are. And you can see there's a little platform there. Some spiders on there, of course, with their, their little devil babies. Hmm. Yeah, nothing this way, so it looks like I do have to go up towards that lab area. Hmm. This is not where I was. Let's see. Let's get the map one once again. Really didn't make any progress, which is pretty shitty. Let's see if I can. Certainly don't want to jump. I mean, I I mean I could. I don't necessarily mind taking the risk, but yeah, I could do it here. I think. Oh wow! It didn't give me. It didn't hurt me. But it looks like. Oh man! Don't tell me my. Uh, Oh man, my dandelion spore is dead. So, oh no, it's still equipped. Okay, it's it's half there. I I just thought it was supposed to work there, because you're supposed to hit the jump button twice, and that's what allows you to deploy it. So here we go. We're zipping again. Let's get another 360 view, but a little slower that time. Cool mask, right? <laughs> All right. Let's see where we are. Oh, there's a little little spiderling right there. Oh, not this way. Don't not fall off, please. All this progress off or not. Okay. Yeah. There's a there should be a mother spider down there somewhere. I'm gonna take this kind of slow. I don't wanna run. And there's a frisbee. And some berries. And uh let's see. Man. So I want to go towards the left over there. So we're going to run across this guy. And there we go. And I'm going to drop. Looks like the mom's not here, thankfully. Oh, we got to crawl over here. Looks like they're attacking. Uh, and we're going to run across here. See, thank God I got those materials. Because you're not going to find any grass seedlings over this. There's the bird bath. As you can see, there's the base of it. But I'm going to... I have to attack this guy because he's he's giving me a, a problem here. I'm gonna switch to uh, uh oh, hey, bam, vampire. Yeah. Oh, God. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. Okay, die. Well, I took kind of a... Uh, yeah, well, I didn't lose too much energy. I thought I was going to lose more than that. So I said, they're, they're, yeah, of course they attack, but they're not as dangerous, obviously, as the bigger ones. But there's the base, and I think the branch is going to go around that way, but, oh, man, I hope I don't fall here. I just got to find a way to get over there. You can get caught in those webs, so be careful with those if you do happen to see those. Oh, uh, no, this doesn't seem like... seems to be taking me away from it, but... Well, the only way to find out is to look. And to discover and uh, try to find your way. I'm thinking up that way, but oh, oh man, I really don't. The ground looks like it's a little close there. It looks like I'm just gonna end up going low and not finding it. See, I'm going away from it, but then again, who's to say it doesn't wrap around? So let me try back this way again. Yeah, there's no way in heck. I, oh no, because there looks like to be a there's a bunch of uh, there's a hedge ceiling there. There's no way you can get through that. 
Let's see where the branch leads off to. Because what I saw, I saw that branch go into it. Was it that one over there? Oh, I just, no, I came from that area, I think, to get over here. Let's look again. We can take the zip line over there, I suppose. It's a risk, but... Because it might take me away from it. Alright, let's do it. I think I want to go over here. Let's see, come on, be the right way. That uh, doesn't look like it. Yeah. No dice. Great. Well, when they call this place a maze, they weren't lying. This is, this is nuts. Watch out, little man. I ain't got time for you. Jeez, oh, where is this bird bath? Okay, let's look at the map again. See, it's to my left, so I clearly wasn't supposed to go this way. Because the branch did not... What is it? Did not go from this angle. It went. It didn't come from the left of it. It 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 it, it came from more sort of like a more diagonal straightaway of it, from what I saw. I mean, a better, you know, like you know, for like lack of being able to describe a better. I mean, lack of better words. Jesus. One of those dudes that came and chew gum and walk at the same time. Those aren't plans. We're good. I mean, you can't zip line forward, so <laughs> that sucks. And I do not want... Wait, you can? No, you can't. Oh, great. Well, it looks like I might be screwed, and I'm not going to be able to get there without starting all over from that side I came. Because there's really no way over there. At least not the way I, I came. Let's try climbing up here. Nope. It's all about the zip line. Let me see if I can float over there, which I probably shouldn't risk. Let's just do the, the zip line. This is awesome! And, uh. You can, like, drop early, which I just did there. Because I saw the water over there. I was thinking maybe I could find a different route to get there but it doesn't seem like I can not from here but what I can do is I do not want to fall but it looks like I might have to looks like I screwed myself yet again if I can get on that branch over there should be able to. Yeah, nice. Okay. I don't know what's still aggressive coming at me. I don't... I made it to the opposite side here. I don't... Unless it f it's flying or something. Okay, where's that bird bath? Let's see. Oh, it's to the... It's behind me. There it is. Man. This really blows. I really hope I'm going the right way. I, I think I might be. I think I might have lucked out there by taking that that guess to come this way. There's the bird bath, but there's no branch leading over there, and there's no way I can float over there unless I'm really a lot higher, which you can't get much higher than this. But I can maybe possibly get on those leaves, but I don't see myself being able to jump up. And 
Yeah, this way looks like it's going to be a blocked off by leaves and hedge and all that crap. So that's not happening. Well, I was a, I was a little hopeful there. Thinking I was like, all right, I think I made the right decision. Um, but it clearly I don't, there's no way, no way over there from this angle. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm going to get over there with, with this kind of jump. There's just, it's just, nah, it's not high enough where I'm at. That branch would be ideal because I could just drop down to it. Um... And I don't think I don't think if I got down there I could climb up. Looks like that's all blocked off, and it looks like it would be a little steep too anyway. <clears throat> so let's let's see. It's getting dark. I knew I'd lose daylight. You have no sense of where you're going. This is what happens. This is what happens. It looks like there's a little f little base nearby. One of those, uh... Alright, let's be careful here. Yeah, this is where I did not want to be. Because, like, yeah. It's... There's nothing there for me. There is, but that's where part of that, uh... Part of that first mission of the hedge maze lab or whatever. So I'm going to just go for broke and just see if I can jump on one of these leaves over here. And it looks like I could have. <sighs> well, that was a big waste of time. I just basically screwed up that whole mission by going this way. There's, uh, no way up there like that. Um, let's go over here, even though I know there'll probably be spiders this way. Yep, there he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're in night mode now, and I do have a torch, so if I do get a little, uh, can't sense where I'm at, then we will break out the torch. What I'm going to do is head back to my, f my fort, um, take a quick nap, and we are going to head back. Video is going a lot longer than it should, but hey, I just it's a good adventure either way. So let's see, where's my base? Oh, way over there. And I'm totally going the wrong way. We want to go left. And probably do some swimming. Yeah, it looks like we're going to do some swimming. Uh oh, we got a frog or something? No, it looks like it's... A Hmm. Looks like there's threats in the water now. Probably mosquitoes. Oh, my stamina's getting low. You can hear the heartbeat. Man, we got some ways to go. Hi, ants. How y'all doing? Oh, look, let me get some, uh, some mushrooms here. How the heck can I not swim through there? That's ridiculous. Uh oh, he's getting hungry. Yeah, there's definitely something swimming in here with me. <laughs> oh, that was fucking, that was pretty eerie. I'm not picky. Let's see some mushrooms and we'll drink a drink of our water there. Well, as you can see, um, um, that's where you want to go. That was refreshing. To uh, to get to the um, hedge maze, 
I am gonna, like I said, locate it tomorrow once I go get some rest. Well, according to the game tomorrow. And then we're gonna venture way back. But at least we've got a good idea of where to go. And how to, you know, get to those areas. It's, it's always good to remember the forks you took um, to get there. You know, instead of just randomly running through, you know, when you're running through, you know, say up, say left, say right. It totally helps. Helps with your memory and allows you to avoid going the same route and going in circles. And those are those little mites. I swear, these little guys just do not know how to mind their own business. So, yeah, we're here we are back at our, at my fort. Oh, he's tired again. My fort's over here to the right. And, uh, might as well get a, might as well get a swig. Yay. And uh, we're not going to go to bed hungry. We're going to go to bed nice and satisfied. It's over here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way again. Wait, this way? No. There it is. I see it now. All right, so we're gonna go and hit the sack, and we'll get back on this mission tomorrow, and uh, and we'll be starting fresh with new legs and well rested. I'm ready to eat my pillow. I'm so tired. All right then. Well, we've gotten some rest, and what I'm gonna do is save here, and I'm gonna. Cut this video short, well, not that it was short, and we're going to make the second half of this part three, where we're going to actually locate that, uh, the exact area where we got to put that trail marker. Until then, this is Nox Hargan saying, uh, happy gaming, um, see you in the virtual world, um, if anyone's out there, um, game on, much props to, uh, Sidespin Media, and Nuts and Bolts, and all our peoples out there. Um... Have yourselves a good day, good night, wherever you are, and I'll see you soon. Peace.